Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show where everybody huddles. The Bitcoins they own. No, <laughs> that was just a joke. Um, for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me. I am the guy that with his family uh, three and a half years ago sold literally everything they own, their house, their companies, their bikes, their cars, everything went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, we are still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, of course, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price, but we are also going to talk about our family because we need to decide which step we are going to take next after Spain. And when it comes to the Bitcoin price, I'm going to share one, two, three crazy cool charts with you guys that will show you that, we, yes, we broke 12K and we can jump in the air for this. We can jump in the air for this. You need to do it like this, Didi. Yes, we broke 12K, but what is next? Are we going to 14K, 16K, 18K? 20k or are we going to pull back to 10k 9k 8k enjoy today's video Hi guys, a short video today. Why? Because yesterday we sat together with our two oldest kids and um, because we are talking about what step we are going to take next as a family, which country are we going to visit because we have some problems at the moment with the whole this flu situation around the world. We cannot enter just any country we want at the moment because we are now staying in Spain. Many countries are banning people that come from Spain or putting these people in quarantine. My family and I don't want to go in quarantine. So we need to plan a little bit more because we don't want to get into a country where we need to wear face masks again or where we need to go in quarantine. We don't like that. So yesterday we sat together as a family. The youngest one, she doesn't care. She just do and she goes with the flow. She is happy everywhere. We do need to consider the two oldest kids opinions because they are 15 and 13 and they need some social contact but they also need some freedom so they need to be able to walk into town to visit some shopping malls or to go to the mcdonald's or burger king whatever you know what you also and we also did when we were 15 years old you need some freedom that's why we include the kids in this conversation yes i know they are only 15 and 13 but we just ask them what do you want to do where do you want to go what do you prefer to stay in the town or to stay at the sea or maybe to stay somewhere in the mountains and then we just as a family decide what to do at the moment it's a little bit more difficult because of the flu situation so um, we need to choose a country that we are free to go from Spain and it has cheap flights that can take us from there to other places in the world we need to find a country that we can stay in for some time so we are then free to stay in another country don't you agree with me that it is completely crazy what is going on in this world so we, for example, would love to go to Cyprus at the moment. But if we go to Cyprus now, we could need to go two weeks in quarantine. So we cannot fly to Cyprus directly from Spain. So we need to do a step in between. Luckily, we are a very flexible family and we have all the time. But it's just, if you think about it, it's just really crazy. So we are now probably going from Spain to Austria, stay there in a house near Vienna because there's a guy offering us this house for a week or two weeks. I don't know yet, we still need to figure out the details. Um, and from there we will visit Austria, uh, Vienna, because it's a city with a lot of Bitcoin adoption. I think they even have a Satoshi's house. And as I read in the news, more than 2,500 stores are now accepting Bitcoin as a payment in Vienna because of Salamantex, a company that is also registered in Austria. So looking forward to Austria and then from Austria we will be able, if we have stayed there for two weeks, to continue our trip to, for example, Cyprus, if Cyprus at that moment is not also blocking people from Austria or creating a quarantine for people that came from Austria. It makes this traveling a little bit more difficult but also more challenging, which again is really cool because I now I can teach my kids how to be flexible and how to plan your trips if not 
everything is possible that you want. So you can teach your kids how to adapt to a situation and how to find a very creative solution for these moments in life. So as a family, we decided we need to have two things now that are important for us. One, we need to have water near us, preferable a beach or a lake. And two, we need to be near a center of a city where the cats can freely run around and do their social things they need to do when they are 15, 13 and 10 years old. So these are now the two things we are going to consider for every location we are going to visit in the future. But Didi, what are you talking about? Talk about Bitcoin, because Bitcoin went above 12K. Yes, I am a very happy man, not only because Bitcoin went above 12K, but also because all the videos I made, I continue telling you guys, we are going to visit 12K first, probably 13K as well, and then even 14K before we will see a pullback. Yes, we did break 12K now. We even went up to 12,400 US dollar. So we made a new high for this year. And this is really cool because now Bitcoin is officially bigger as the Bank of America. We have a bigger market cap in Bitcoin than we have at the Bank of America. And it's also bigger than the New Zealand dollar. So yes, Bitcoin, if you see it as an official currency, is bigger than the New Zealand dollar. To be exact, at the moment Bitcoin is taking place at the 34th biggest currency of the world. So yes, we need to climb 34 more steps to become the biggest currency of the world, um, which of course is a dream of all these Bitcoin people out there. But even if we reach the top 10, man, I'm already a very happy person because that would mean that the Bitcoin has become one of the biggest currencies around in the world and that was exactly the goal in Satoshi's white paper to become a peer-to-peer -peer cash that will replace the current physical cash. By the way with creating this new Bitcoin high price we liquidated about 22 million dollar of shorts people that were expecting Bitcoin to drop down. I have one of these followers of the YouTube channel as well. He has been screaming all the time, we are going to see a short. He's positioning at shorts Every, and many more people are positioning shorts and they get liquidated and they lose big time. I always say, go with the flow as long that the trend is up. And yes, when the trend turns around and goes down and you see a confirmation of this trend turning around, then you start to chart the market. You don't guess because shorting or longing without a confirmation of a trend reversal is in my opinion not the smartest move. Always wait for a confirmation and then put your shorts or longs if you're willing to short and long. And if you're willing to play the short and long game, then please consider signing up to Bybit, Prime XBT or Dudex. You can see the referral links to these three exchanges in my first comment that is pinned below this video. I got you super cool deals at all three of them. One is a $300 bonus, one is a $90 bonus, and one is a 50% deposit bonus. So if you sign up to one of these three cool exchanges, Bybit, Prime XBT or Dudex, you will be able to receive a really cool bonus and then start to play the long and short game where you leverage your Bitcoin's position and you can make a little bit more profit than in the normal spot trading we do at Binance or KuCoin, for example. Also for those exchanges, please use my referral links. I will use all these referral revenues to support people all over the world. If we take a look at this chart, Bam, you can see the next target of Bitcoin. It's in between these green lines between 13,200 and 14,000 US dollar. So for me, this is the next goal, the next target in Bitcoin before you will see a small correction to even go higher all the way up to 16K. While we now can see a strong support around the 11,800 level has been resistance for a couple of weeks now, we broke that resistance. So I think this resistance now will form a support for the next dip. So in my opinion, we can dip back to the support level, but we will still go upwards to 14K. And then arriving at 14K guys, that will be a special moment because if you look at this chart, bam, at this chart you can see what happened the last time we reached 14K. Yes, you need to look to the left, to that side. If you look to the left, you can see when we touched the 40K level, we were rejected and we fell down all the way down to 4k at the end 
So the bear mark continued the last time we touched this 14K. I think 10 weeks ago at the top of my head, this bull market started again and we are now rising since this 4K. And since this 4K, we have been all rising all the way up to 12K now. So the question is now, when we reach 14K again, will we run into this strong resistance again and be rejected and then fall all the way down again to 4K? My answer, no. I don't believe this. I really believe we have turned into a bull market so we can see corrections, minor corrections of 20 to 30%. So that would mean from 14K to around 10K, 9K, maybe even 8K. But then again, continue with this uptrend all the way up to 16 to 18 to even 20k to create a new all-time high so one scenario you can see on this chart bam on this chart you can see that we could go to uh, in between 13 to 14k then get rejected fall back to these black support lines of 10k 9k 8k and then after that we would bounce off one of these support levels to continue a beautiful moon trip to 16k or 20k next year even to 50k or 100k whatever new all-time high we will create in this next bull run if we would fall back to one of these support levels it could be a quick bounce up again to 12k but it also could be a but it also could be a fall back to 8 9k and then have this sideways movement again for a month or something before we break up again so we don't know no one knows nobody has a glass ball but this could be a scenario a other scenario we can see on Lisa's chart BAM on this beautiful colorful chart of course Lisa is always working with these colors and um, on this chart we can see that we could go from 12k to 13k between 13 and 14k pull back again to 12k and then make this run all the way up to 16k and then around 16k we need to see what will happen there if we will have a strong pullback from there from 16k and then from there build up this new run again to break the 20k the goal we want to break as a community because that will mean we will have created a new all-time high and probably everybody that is then in bitcoin will be in profit and yes, I started trading daily again because in these bull runs, during these bull runs, I think trading is a lot of fun. Um, during these bear times, the last two years, when you can see Bitcoin falling down, falling down, falling down, I just trade Bitcoin in the swing. So when Bitcoin goes down a lot, I buy them again and then they go up again. I sell them again and they go down and I buy again. So um, not a lot. I'm not trading altcoins in these periods of time, but now... When Bitcoin goes into this bull run, I start to trade altcoins always because it's just a lot of fun to see all your profits increasing on a daily basis then and it's more easy to trade for me. At the moment, I am positioned in a lot of trades. I need to think which coins at the moment I hold a position in. Let me think. I hold a position in Beam, in Koti, which was the trade of the week. I hold a position in CTSI. I hold in a position in 1ONE. I hold a position in PNT, IOST, and Sol at the moment, and co-vesting. So I have like seven or eight positions open at the moment. They are all in profit, uh, about 20 till 30%, few of them even uh, around 100%. I closed my waves position two, two or three days ago. Um, no, I am lying, it hit my stop loss. So yes, there was a huge profit in waves. I think it was more than 130% profit in the waves. Uh, trade that was a really cool call by Lisa. She told me, Did he buy waves? I bought waves, and yeah, that went up 130%. Uh, Lisa is doing a lot of good calls. I need to be honest, I'm following Lisa and some other traders as well. But Lisa's trades have been very profitable um, up till now. So, Lisa, keep being locked down in Melbourne because always when you're locked down, you're trading like a queen. <laughs> you know, I hope you get free as soon as possible because I know you're in for a beautiful holiday somewhere on the beach because you have been locked down way too long now there in Australia. I hope the world will soon stop all these lockdowns. I just really don't see the need of these lockdowns anymore. But these coins I'm invested in at the moment, I think Beam is going to do a 200% run up. So Beam is a really cool one to invest in. Um, and I think Win already started to run up, but I think Win is going to run up way more as well. One OEN still up for a move. So if you want to buy something, you could buy some Beam or One. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a Bitcoin guy walking and traveling all over the world um, with his family, trying to enjoy life to the fullest every day.
that was the video for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your community subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video also leave a comment because i love to reply to your comments and i love you guys to educate me on the projects you are supporting so i can find some new inspiration for the next couple of videos i'm going to make here from spain we don't know yet which date we are going to travel to austria i think we will have another family conversation to day uh, to determine when we are going to leave Spain exactly and when we are going to arrive in Austria to stay there for a couple of weeks and breathe this healthy mountain air while we jump into this very refreshing cold mountain lake somewhere in Austria. I will keep you up to date about our travel plans also about the trades I'm making and of course always talking to you about blockchain Bitcoin and life on a daily basis. Thank you for watching this video today. Always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Thank you.